Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Best Trends. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at 10 Fortnite mask skin face reveals. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna be giving away loads of gift cards that you can use to buy V-Bucks. To everyone who leaves a like on the video and turns my notifications on, be sure to comment down below that you've completed the steps. New winners will be included at the end of every video, so make sure to get entered on new videos early for the best chance to win. This video is gonna be very fun. We're gonna be going and actually revealing what the skins with masks on truly look like. So let's go and jump right on into this. Number 10. The Black Knight. Here we go, you guys. The Season 2 final skin, The Black Knight. Still arguably to be one of the coolest skins in the entire game. And it's personally one of my favorites. But we're going to be going and seeing what is behind the mask of this character. And well, let's go and figure it out. So as we jump into a Fortnite game, so there's actually a little trick where you go behind the character and slowly get closer and you can actually get under the mask. And while we're under the mask, it looks like there's literally a black mannequin under this one. But don't worry, you guys, they all aren't like this. I think that's just because this one is a very special character and they didn't want to put a specific person under it. So I think we need to go and check out other characters because for some reason this one didn't really have anyone underneath it. So let's go and jump right on into number 9, Rabbit Raider. Here we go, we got an Easter special character and it is the Rabbit Raider. And this character is definitely a very unique one. And I believe it costed around 2,000 V-Bucks last month when they released the character. That is $20, you guys. All I know is that Epic Games is making so much money because all the skins are $20 and you can't resell them or trade them or anything. But I actually think this one was like $1,500 instead of $2,000. But the thing is here, you can almost guess who is the face behind the mask of this character right off the bat. But we will be going and jumping into a Fortnite match and then going and revealing what the face behind the Rabbit Raider truly is. So as we go and jump into the Fortnite game, we will go and do the exact same little trick that we did before. And well, there you have it. The character is this default skin. Most of you may know this character being called the Ranger. It is the blonde default skin that most of you guys probably play with if you do not have any of the new outfits. This character is actually to believe to be a very popular character to be underneath the mask of some Fortnite characters. So I guess we will just have to wait and see and go on and jump into the next one. Number 8, Blue Squire. So here we have it you guys, we got the Blue Squire and this was a part of the Season 2 Battle Pass. And this character is the Bold Warrior of Moisty Mire, which I find to be pretty cool. This is a part of the Fortnite Knights set and this one goes along with the Black Knight that we took a look at earlier. Which unfortunately we couldn't tell what the character's face reveal was underneath it, but let's hope for something a little bit better this time. So let's jump into a Fortnite match. So as we go and see exactly who is behind the mask of the Blue Squire, so it turns out the Asian default skin is actually the face of the Blue Squire. And I personally didn't think this was who was going to be behind the mask of the Blue Squire, but I guess that is who it is. So is the Asian default skin the person underneath the Black Knight? Or is it just different for each character? Because I honestly really want to know who is the face of the Black Knight, but I guess they want to keep it mysterious as well. Number 7, the Rust Lord. Now we have the King of Scrap Heap. The Rust Lord is a part of the Storm Scavenger set. This character was dropped in Season 3 and it was one of the first characters you got if you owned or purchased the Battle Pass in Season 3. So if you bought the Season 3 Battle Pass, it's guaranteed that you most likely have the Rust Lord. So we're going to be jumping into a game of Fortnite and going and revealing who is the man underneath the Rust Lord. And will it be anyone that we've seen before or is it going to be a completely different person that none of us have seen yet? We will just have to wait and see you guys, but let's go and jump into a Fortnite match right now and take a look. So now let's go and take a look at this. And who is the person going to be? And well, there you have it, you guys. It is the blonde default skin once again. So many of these characters are most likely to be the blonde default skin just because that is their base model in the entire game. So yeah, you guys, I really hope that we start seeing some other people and I think we will. So make sure you guys stay tuned because it was the same one that we saw earlier that was underneath the Rabbit Raider. And you guys, some of these skins are so awesome and you may see a skin that you've never seen before. So make sure you stay tuned until the very end. Number six, Tomato Head. Here we have it. This skin was very hyped up on Reddit and so many people wanted it. But for some reason, I don't see what's so nice about it at all. Personally, it's a very ugly skin. I don't really know why anyone really wasted $20 on it. You never see anyone using it in game anymore, but the thing is, everyone wants to refund this skin. But Epic Games end up taking the refund process out of their system because I think that less people were buying V-Bucks when the refund process was out. But anyways, guys, let's blab about that. Let's jump into a Fortnite match and go figure out who's behind the tomato head. So as we come up to the tomato head, we will figure out who is underneath that tomato. And it turns out to be the same Asian default character that was underneath the blue squire. So, so far, we have very dark character that isn't any default skin. So then we have the blonde ranger. Then we have the Asian default skin. Then blonde again, then Asian default. 
So it's sort of gone into a pattern, but we have not gotten into female characters yet, you guys. So make sure you stay tuned because some of the female characters you may have not even know existed. And you guys, it's pretty insane. So let's hope that some of the other skins have different users, and I think they will. So stay tuned. Number five, crack shot. Here we have the crack shot, and this is a nutcracker. And this character was released in December around the time of the holidays. I personally didn't end up purchasing this character and the reason behind that is it was just so big and I feel like it would be such an easy target to see and what's the point of getting a skin that will put you at a disadvantage. But we'll be going and revealing who is underneath the crack shot. So let's jump into a Fortnite match. So here we are, we are going to take a look underneath the Fortnite character's mask and well it turns out to be a very similar to the Dark Knight, but it looks like by the hair that it could be the blonde character, and it's just not rendering, you guys. So, like, this is very similar to what happened to the Dark Knight. It literally is just a black mannequin that you cannot see what it is. But this one, you could kind of see that had, like, white hair, sort of. So, it sort of looked like it could have been the blonde character. But then again, we have no clue. This is a very mysterious one, just like the Dark Knight was. Number four. Rogue Agent. This character is the character that you receive if you go and purchase the Fortnite Battle Royale Starter Pack. In the pack, you will be receiving the character along with a back bling that, that comes with it called the Catalyst Back Bling, as well as 600 V-Bucks for $5. So this deal is not too bad. But the thing is, who really knows who's underneath the mask of this rogue? I don't think anyone does right now, but we will very shortly, because we are going to be going and revealing the character's identity right now. So let's jump into a Fortnite match. Here we are, we will make our way to the character, and well, let's get very close there, and you'll see that it is the blonde default skin, or the ranger, which some other people call it. I feel like this is the most common character to be under the skins at this point, but we'll still have a few more characters, so stay tuned, because some of these may surprise you. Number three, Cuddle Team Leader. Here we got the Cuddle Team Leader, or most of you may probably know this skin named just as the Teddy Bear because it's a very, very big pink teddy bear. This is another one of those skins I just couldn't get myself to spend $20 on because the reason for that is it's just so big and bright. Why spend money on something that will just put you at a massive target? And it's kind of like a disadvantage, just doesn't make sense to me. But let's go and jump into a Fortnite match and reveal who this Cuddle Team Leader truly is. So as we get closer and closer, we come to realize that the Cuddle Team Leader is a girl default skin that has the long black hair. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the person underneath the teddy bear would have been the redhead girl rather than the black haired one. Number two, the Dark Voyager. This may personally be one of the coolest skins in Fortnite, and it definitely was my favorite in Season 3. But this skin is one of the later skins that come out in Season 3, and well, let me know down below if you guys have the Dark Voyager. And not just that, but what is your favorite skin overall in Fortnite? Put that down below in the comment section. But anyways, let's go and jump into the Fortnite game and go and do a face reveal of the Dark Voyager. Well, let's go and see when you first get close to it. It kind of does like a little sheet where it looks staticky and it kind of wants to like protect the face reveal. But when you go a bit deeper, you can see that the character is the blonde default character. And I have to say, so many of the male characters underneath their skins are the blonde default character. I'm not sure why, this just may be their base character overall in the entire game and it's the most simple for them to put underneath. I don't know you guys, but let's jump into number one, Alpine Ace. Here we have the Alpine Ace, and this is definitely one of the cooler skins because it can relate to anyone. Because they have the Canadian, they got the German, the Korean, the Chinese, the American, etc. You guys know what I'm talking about. And so I want to go and reveal who is underneath these skins. So let's jump into a Fortnite match and do the face reveal. So now that we're in the game, let's go and take a look underneath this mask. Well, you guys, it looks like there's actually nothing underneath the mask. This one is even a bit more mysterious than the Dark Knight. Because there is literally nothing under here, you guys. You can't see anything. You just go straight through. I don't know if this is a glitch in their system or it's just a rendering error in that exact game. But that's all there is, you guys. You cannot see anything underneath this person. It's kind of a weird ending to the video having a face reveal of nothing. But anyways, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash a big ol' thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new. Also, go down below in the comment section and let me know which one was your favorite and do you want any more of these type of videos with these face reveals. I actually had a lot of fun going and actually figuring out who is behind the masks of these. I never even really thought about that before. Let me know if you guys have ever thought about that down below. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for everyone to making the end. And right now, this is going to be for those of you who make it to the end. You need to go and check the pinned comment on this video and see if your name is there because that's all the giveaway winners from the last video. So for example, we choose three to five new winners every single video and you guys see that in the beginning with our giveaway intro but you guys if you guys win you need to go and check your youtube messages because i message all the winners already letting them know that they have won and asking which gift card would they like so make sure to go check your youtube messages if your name is in the pinned comment 
So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for making the end, and I hope to see everyone in the next video. And yeah, you guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.